Tonight I have the Wera Zyklop quarter inch drive set and I wanted to show you guys what this looked like originally in the box but I've been using this now for a while. So let's get into this. Let's check it out. So when you open this box from Wera they package everything so nicely and we've mentioned that a few times here I believe. But they send these out now in these nice they call them a textile package. So you can see really nice Vera set up there with a very heavily done ratchet embossed in the front so you can really tell what's in your case. That's one thing I do really like about the way they're doing this now. They really make it visible what's in the cases. And this is what is inside. A very nice, very, very nice setup right there. So let's start right over here with probably the most important thing in there. The Wear a Zyklop quarter inch. This one is significant for a few reasons. One being, this is how I've managed to eliminate all the nut drivers from my Vito bags. If you, if you flip this little switch right here on the back, the head will rotate to any position that you like, like right there. And you can hear you have ratcheting right there. So with these sets, and they have several, but if you also have, you know, their little, their bit check plus, their tool check plus, I believe they call it, there are all of these nut drivers already in there, sockets. So you'll already have your metric, your imperial, all that. So just get the one that you need when you order this set because it does come metric and imperial as well. The, the importance of that is how many nut drivers I can eliminate. As you can see here, 5.5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13. So you're not missing very much. You're missing a nine, but you also have a five and a half. So they, they've kind of decided what they believe is the most important sizes. And so far, this has worked very well for me. Anything really much above a 13, and we all already know, as long as it has a 10 millimeter in it, we're good, right? <laughs> so anyway, you can pop it out. Hey, we might as well use a 10 to show it off here. You pop this out, and each one of these sockets are also color color banded with their you know easy identification method so your 10 millimeter has a yellow band here on the base of it and in order to put these on you have to press this button on the back of the ratchet and then you can pop your socket on and it locks in place that's significant for me because when I get into a tight spot especially you know if I'm having to use these other angles because this this driver will work at a lot of different angles which is extremely nice. There you go, just like that, a nut driver. And if that's not a long enough nut driver, they also give you an amazing extension in here. See how many millimeter that actually is. I'm not sure that they put it on it. It's an 8794LA is the item number for this, but it's a very long extension. It's probably longer than the ratchet. And then you can snap your socket on the end of that and when you flip this out straight, you now have a long nut driver. Like that right there. So, any position, if you're working up under a sink or something, trying to get things loose, you're in some weird location, there's even off-center locking points, like right there. See that? You can actually lock this here, and that's not at a straight angle. It'll lock straight at a right angle. It'll lock here, and then after that, it's just floating until it gets to straight. So you can just pull that and, and get some torque on it at any angle you need to right through the whole range. And this does rotate in any direction there, so left, right. And the switches are also ambidextrous. They're front and back of the ratchet. On the top here, you have their little green knob right around where you press to put the socket on. Flipping that, switching it from one side to the other, switches you from tightening to loosening a bolt. So they also do their little rotating pieces here. If you've noticed this before, pop that off. When you're using this, say, as a nut driver or something, you can hold this driver right here and turn it. And it will just rotate, this piece right here will rotate in your fingers. So, very nice thing there. And they carried on to putting them all the way, what, over halfway down the shaft of this extension. You can just hold and the extension can turn in your fingers without, you know, having to readjust or, or anything like that. 
So, also, they give you a quarter inch adapter to their wrap adapter type setup. So, you can go ahead and use your screwdriver type bits in this setup as well. And they lock in too. Now, in here, you have posi drives. There are two posi drives, two Phillips, one and two, and well, and three. And then their HDP. They have from a, oh, a three to a six, three, four, five, and six. And in Torx, they have from a T10, 15, 20, 25, 27. I don't believe I've seen a 27 before, so that's interesting. And then finishing at a T30 as the largest on these. But to show these, all you do is snap these in to the system here and all of this is locked together you don't have to worry about your bit falling out when you're down inside an appliance or something like that it's just a very nice little setup there and this of course rotates on this as well so when you're getting in there driving with this you can hold right here and it can rotate in your fingers very well thought out everything with Wera they they put a lot of thought into it and the end user experience is a lot better because of that. So this is just a little bitty quarter inch where a Zyklop. The entire ratchet for scale here. And unfortunately, this will be the only thing in Freedom Units here. We're, we're at six, six inches. With it at a right angle, we're at five and three quarter. But with that flipped forward, you'd probably be right at six inches to the tip of the ratcheting mechanism. But little five and three quarter inch long ratchet. That's all it is, fits right in your hand. Very, very handy, very well thought out. Fits extremely well in a veto bag. I love putting it in this setup. Just a great little setup. Thank you guys for coming by the channel tonight, checking all this out. We're really enjoying it. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button down there. Subscribe for more awesome tool reviews. And if you get a chance, let me know what some of the coolest Vera tools that you have are in the comments down below. I'd love to get to talk to you about them. I love tools. See you on the next one.